Alone in my sorrow and dead in my sin Lost without hope with no place to be Love made a way to let mercy come in When death was arrested and my life began Ash was redeemed, only beauty remained My orphan heart was given a name My morning grew quiet, my feet rose to dance Death was arrested and my life began Oh, your grace so free Washes over me You have made me new Now life begins with you It's your
And the road ahead gets steep I will lift these hands in faith I will believe I'll remind myself of all that you've done And the life I have because of your son Love came down and rescued me set me free I am yours I am forever yours mountain high or valley low I sing out and remind my soul that I am yours I am forever yours when my heart is filled with hope and every promise comes my way upon me staying desperate for you God staying humble at your feet I will lift these hands and praise I will believe I'll remind myself of all that you've done and the life I have because of your son Love came down and rescued me. Love came down and set me free. I am yours. I am forever yours. Mountain high or valley low, I sing out and remind my soul that I am yours. I am forever yours. Love came. We're in uh, Image Island, which is uh, part of the Jalawet Atoll. 
This population on this island and a couple of near ones is about 60 to 80 people. This island here uh, served as a regional headquarters for the Japanese during World War II. And so there's a lot of remnants, including this one we're standing in here. There is no uh, power grid out here. There's no phone service and all that. Uh, they have solar panels on their homes and uh, they can run some dim lights at night. There are no stores, so they will have to get over to Jabor. And even in Jabor, there's just little family stores that have a very small amount of stuff, you know, the basics, rice and spam and corned beef and different things like that. And they do rely on the natural plants and the ocean, of course. Ministry leaders Rastin and Jewel Lanway have traveled from another atoll, Majuro Atoll, where they grew up and their family lives, to come here and serve. So they've chosen to come out here into a place that is unknown to most of the world. They have joyful spirit and they just give willingly as they serve and lead the people here. <laughs> I'm <laughs> It just became kind of an easy way for the people on this island mainly to communicate. People were starting to get on and they were asking for prayer. They were asking for a devotional. And so Rastin and Jewel actually developed that into a community event. And people get on their little radios and they sit in their homes and talk to each other and they share their, their needs one to another. <laughs> The gospel is meant to go out into all the earth. The scripture says how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. And that's what they're doing here in Image. And people are uh, growing in their faith. They're coming to the Lord. They're understanding his great love in a much deeper way. If you enjoyed this video, like it and share it. We are always posting content, so don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for helping us share change. Well, hello everybody and welcome to our online Sunday service and today is Valentine's Day so happy Valentine's to you and your loved ones. Today I'm just going to talk about love 
And there's a couple of things that I want to emphasize today. Number one is that love is a verb. It is an action word. We have to work at it. Uh, and I'm thinking about all the snow has been coming down and I've been going outside to get the, the wood and I've been putting it in the fireplace and I keep on getting it to burn and I'm always looking at it and making sure that the flame is going. And I think uh, love is that way. It is an action word where you have to work at it hard. You have to keep the flame burning. And so like me, if I neglect you know, the fire, what happens is that it dies down and the same way with our love with one another that if we stop working hard at it the flame will die down and so love is an action word and today especially those that you know you have a spouse and you want to express to them their, your love uh, there's a book that I've read a few years ago by Dr. Gary Chapman and I'm sure a lot of you have read it it's a popular book about relationship and it's called the five love languages and in it he talks about uh, things that we can do to express our love for our spouse and there's kind of five general ones the first one is touch you know uh, you're able to hold their hands and just making sure that, um, that they're loved and you know when you hold their hands or when you touch them they feel love that's one way that we can express love to our spouse. The second one is we can give them gifts. And sometimes uh, some people, they really feel love when you give them gifts. And so is your spouse, um, is that their love language, receiving gifts? Another one is acts of service. You know, some, some spouses, they rather, they rather you uh, wash dishes or making sure the house is, uh, you know, the light bulbs are changed and different things that you do to express love, that you love them so much. And so there's some people that are like that, that you have to uh, express in that way, the acts of service, and they feel love. Uh, the fourth one is that <clears throat> words of affirmation. It's just a matter of encouraging them and giving positive feedback and and sometimes when, when they hear that, they feel love. Oh man, you know, my spouse really loves me. And the last one is quality time. When we take time and, you know, sit down and talk to them or walk with them and just spend that quality time, have a picnic together, that really shows them that you love them. And so those are just five general love languages that we can learn from our spouse, learn their love language, and then speak it. Show them. Again, love is a verb. It is an action word. And so let's do that today, especially today, this today of uh, Valentine's Day, to share that love to one another. Well, the second thing that I want to talk about is that love never fails. And I take that from... 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and that love chapter that is always read during weddings. And so 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and I'm just going to start in verse 4. And it says, Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Is not provoked. Thinks no evil does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. And here's our key verse, verse eight. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. So I just want us to focus on that one. Love never fails. And if you think about that, man, we fail a lot when it comes to love, right? And uh, a classic example is when uh, Jesus was with his disciples in his last day. And they're having the Last Supper. And what happened? Well, Judas betrayed Jesus. And it really shows that he failed in loving Jesus. 
he betrayed him. 30 pieces of silver. Another thing is that Apostle Peter, that later that night, uh, when Jesus was arrested, and he came to warm himself up with some of the fire, and people asked him, hey, you're one of his disciples, and he denied Jesus. He denied him not once, twice, but three times. Denied Jesus, and Peter failed in loving Jesus. And of course, there's the other 10 disciples, they deserted Jesus. And it really also showed that they failed in loving Jesus. And so you have betrayal, you have uh, denial, and you have deserting Jesus. And so, you know, the disciples failed Jesus. We fail Jesus when we disobey. And so uh, I want to emphasize this that in verse 8, it says, love never fails. So why does it say that love never fails even though we fail? Well, the reason why is because this is God's love for us. It will never fail. Even though we mess up, God's love for us will never fail. And this is such an important thing to understand. Now, in this passage, when this word is used, love, it's not using the word in the Greek language. There's different types of love. And so it's not talking about storge is a Greek word for love. And it means a love between like a, a familial love, you know, between a parent and a child love. It's not talking about that kind of uh, love, storge. And it's not even talking about eros, you know, erotic love or passionate love between a husband and wife. It's not talking about that kind of love. Uh, it's not even talking about philia, another Greek word for love, philia, which we get our our state, you know, Philadelphia. And uh, philo means uh, it's just a brotherly love, having that brotherly love. So all of those doesn't really talk about the love that is talking about here, that love never fails. The Greek word that you use is agape. Agape love is what it's used here. And that is God's unconditional love for us. It is a love that is sacrificial. It is putting that person before ourselves. And you know, God did that, right? He really loves us. In John 3 16, for example, he uses the same word. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That word love, agape love, sacrificial love, giving his life for us. And even in his very nature, God's nature, it's that love as well. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 8, it says, God is love. It's same thing, it's the agape love that we're talking about. And so when we look at this, that love never fails, it really talks about God's love for us that will never fail. So when we mess up, when we go our own way, you know, He loves us. He pursues us. And that is a wonderful thing for us to think about this Valentine's Day. Uh, no matter what you've done, God loves you. And the only thing you have to do is cry out to Him, Say, I'm sorry, Lord, for everything that I've done. Forgive me. When you ask for forgiveness, He'll forgive you. And then you receive His love. Thank you for loving me so much that you sent Jesus to die in my place on Calvary. To pay for my sin so that I will be with you in glory. And that is the ultimate love. You know, when Jesus was hanging on that cross, in a way, He's saying, I love you. I love you. He is dying for you and for me. And so I really want us to think about that today. Love never fails. It's talking about this kind of love, agape love, God's love, self-sacrificing love, them before me. And this is what Jesus has done for us. And I just wanna, just wanna share also a powerful passage in Romans chapter eight verse 38 and it's talking about this love and it says 
For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor heights, nor depth, nor any other created things shall be able to separate from us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And so that is the ultimate love for us. You know, we have our love for one another. The action word love is a verb. Yes, we have to show that. And we have this principle that love never fails. Even though we mess up, He is always loving us. And that is my prayer for each and every one of us to think about God's love for us. Thank you, Lord, for His love for us. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for this day that we can focus on love. Thank you, Lord, for your love for us. Thank you, Lord, that you love us so much that you send your son Jesus to die in our place on Calvary and giving us life eternal with you. We thank you, Lord, for that. We praise you, Lord. And Lord, thank you, Lord, for our loved ones. May we speak their love language and may we express to them and show them that we love them. Help us, Lord, to not be passive, but be just be active in showing others that we love them. So, Father, thank you for today. Uh, Lord, uh, we just praise you, Lord, for who you are. Be with us, Lord, and bless our day. We give you all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I'm in, everybody, and happy Valentine's Day. God bless.